This is how to use the new control center in iOS 10. I'm Josh Smith with gottobemobile.com and Apple has changed around the options for your control center. Now on your main screen, you still have your shortcuts, you still have brightness. Now we have a little different area here in the center for our airplay, airdrop, and night shift settings. You'll notice you don't see any music options. Now we also have shortcuts down here and you can use 3D touch on them if your phone supports that and access some of those options. You can also just tap on them and you'll be able to go straight to that just like you used to. Now, if you swipe over, you get access to your music controls. So we see album art, a tracker for the amount of time, controls, volume, and then we also down here have easy access to choose where we want this to play, whether that's on our iPhone, on the Bluetooth headphones we have connected or on an Apple TV. And if we swipe over one more time, we have access to HomeKit. And so in this section right here, this is where you're able to control some of your connected home devices. So I can tap on this and we'll turn my kitchen lights off. If I tap again, it will turn my kitchen lights on. This screen will depend on the accessories that you have installed on your phone. But for the most part, this is what Control Center will look like for you. It's a swipe up from the bottom when your phone is unlocked and for most users also on the lock screen. Thanks for watching.